Hi to the vlog. Right. Good west. Good morning. We had an epic ride yesterday. Kind of knocked us out hard. We have made it to the top of Reddish Knob. Duncan is exhausted. And is so is Dylan. It was brutal. Luckily, we've got Killer, PB though. and J. Why do we always run out of water, bro? But we might have a mission today. Fix Duncan's bike. These problems are notorious for being extremely challenging. Everything hurts. I need to roll out and do some yoga. See you soon. But then that tool also does the bottom bracket. Yeah, it's that's why it's a dope Shimano tool. Shout out to Max for that one. Got some breakfast on its way. Hash brown. Some sausage, some strawberries, some carrots. Working on some nettle tea. I have a feeling though I shouldn't have picked big leaves because they're quite bitter. I think the smaller leaves are sweeter, I guess. Camera gear, some editing getting done. More gear. Yeah, and Duncan's working on the uh I think the one with more meat. Yeah, it's straight. <laughs> Ketchup, How that's essential. Ketchup. Say peace to the vlog. Peace. Duncan planned on replacing his old dropper post, which allows the rider to move the saddle up or down with the flick of a switch. Now, it should have been an easy replacement, although the old dropper post was seized inside the carbon frame on itself and make a smaller diameter, and it should just come out. But. So like when I was trying to get it out, I like snapped the internals and the seat could like spin 360 around. Oh god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could be like a super shitty situation to get the bottom start part stuck in or something. I have no idea. I've never done this before, but time to charge up the next battery and keep going. Want it out today. We realized the seat post was officially stuck and it meant it would need to be removed forcefully. Word. So, Dunk is currently... <laughs> Dropper post just got seized in there. The carbon swelled, it's grabbing even more. We just custom made a sawzall blade so it could fit in there. So we trimmed off the whole top so it's three quarters of the length that it was before. Easy guys. <laughs> Alright, I just woke up. <laughs> Jeez, I woke up earlier but I don't know, I was tired today. So uh, I got the battery charged up. We're gonna go and release another battery full of Sawzall energy onto my bike and see what happens. Love this kind of stuff. Shut this down. I'm leaving it open. Whoa! No, don't leave it open. The bugs will get in. Jeez. It's up his ass today. Bit of a mess out here. It was gonna rain last night, but it didn't. So it took one battery to get this first start of the relief cut. Um, it's going pretty decent. It's kind of hard to see on the inside there, but it's working. I think. Basically, the inside is bare carbon, right? And that makes those carbon fibers swell. So then what makes it not swell? Because that's what I was told to do by a bunch of people. Yeah, no, that stuff makes it swell. So what do you, what do you do? <laughs> dude, dude, I was like, you sent me that message, and I was like, I had it behind us off the cannon, and I was like, I'm gonna go get some water, and I had it behind us off the cannon, uh, next to me then. Alright, last two bites of breakfast, and we're back at it. Back to my Sawzall adventures. The master of the saws all. That's what they called me back in the day, yo. I'd be cutting all the bolts off of the, uh, the like, 4x4 four four posts, the plates on the bottom. I loved when I did it. <laughs> I feel like a crazy man holding this camera. Alright, let's keep at her. Play the classical music when I do this, just because of it. 
I've been spraying it for like days though, like what, a day and a half now. Like, Ooh. Well, you just on, on, on the carbon, by flight trailer? Yeah. Like, like chain Yeah. Yeah, that's why you can now. You think so? Fuck, dealer! Do I go for it? <coughs> Do I pull out the first piece? Come on, you. So I got these two cut, but it goes all the way in. It's just a knot to the bottom. But it's not it's enough of them just release. out here. Did you get any carbon at all? You don't think so? I hope not in there. I don't know, it's hard to tell, you know, you can't really. <laughs> I go just like a hair on an angle, so I cut through this. And then right when I get to the end of like, look how far I went with this one, because the, the line's up with that, so I can go as far as I could with it. So now, now what's, now what's and next up? I think it might go now. Let's see. I might need a hand real quick. First, I'll just jostle this around a little. Rotate it back and forth. Hopefully break the whatever pieces of metal are stuck together. Like, no. unless you can get a pair of channel locks on it. Oh, trust me, I have like a I have like a 18 inch set of channel locks. <laughs> yeah, if you were grabbing it, you could make a twist. No. Hope I brought a pipe wrench. I'm gonna bite into it as you just. The post was still really stuck and showing no sign of budging. Damn it! That thing's never coming out yet. To keep Duncan sane, he rode the Santa Cruz chameleon that Max lent for the trip, i.e., the backup bike. What's that? This is what I might do then. I might cut it and just jam some sort of seat in there to make it super low and just lock it in somehow and just have it as a downhill bike. Took the old stanchion from the old post, shoved it into the remaining seized dropper post and drilled a bolt through the fixed saddle height. Shout out to the boys. Hey. 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 Yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. Fuck yeah, baby. Yeah. Um, I'll take yeah. a look at it tonight. <laughs>